Well, I completely copied it from Aurora Public Schools. Uh, I had seen that they had just taken like an afternoon where they brought in um, one of my good friends, Jen McNally, to speak to their kids about mental health and just give them some time to talk about some mental health topics with her. And um, when I read that, I thought about how we do a lot of teacher in service and um, we've done trauma training and, and Boys Town and we do, we do all these trainings for, for staff, but like we don't ever like take time to maybe do student in services. And so it kind of was born from that. And um, when we reached out to our local mental health people and just our community overall, the response was overwhelming that people wanted to help and participate. So it just kind of took on a life of its own. I think my biggest thing, as with my team, is that kids know we care about them. I hope they know that um, we aren't ignoring mental health. We aren't pushing it under the rug. We, we know that it's there. Um, I hope they feel like they have tools to help them with their mental health. Our theme of the day is really about um, perseverance. So uh, we're gonna acknowledge that you have anxiety, we're gonna acknowledge that you're stressed, but we're gonna give you some tools and some coping skills to get through that. So that's my biggest thing today, is just hoping that kids after today feel a little bit more equipped to deal with the struggles that they're facing. Last year, after the event, uh, we had a member of our community reach out to us. Um, his grandson had committed suicide um, several years ago and um, he actually came into our office, he started crying, and he told us that this was so important to him, and he was so proud um, to see that people are actually having these courageous conversations and that we're doing this for kids. Um, that was probably the most, the best feedback we got. It was not from a student, it was just from an outside member of the community who heard about the day, who read about the day, who uh, felt like it would make an impact. I hope the impact is the students can walk away with at least one tool, um, you know, to deal with stressors in their life, um, how to be resilient. We have so many wonderful speakers here today, and we just want students um, to know that there's ways to deal with stress, there's ways to deal with anxiety, and if they can just walk away with um, one thing that'll help them in their life, that is pretty much the goal for today. So we uh, started in the Performing Arts Center um, with our superintendent, Dr. Rhodes who told a personal story of resilience, um, his cousin, Brett, and we, we felt that that was an important message for all the kids to hear, so we started here um, in the PAC, and then right now, all the kids are in breakout sessions. I think we have close to 20 breakout sessions kids can choose from, um, you know, dealing with stress, anxiety, healthy eating, healthy lifestyles, um, keeping your mental edge during sports. Um, we really tried to cover so many topics so kids felt as though there was a session for all of them. And then um, we will do another quick break and go to another breakout session and lunch back in the PAC. And we are so excited to have Tom Farley um, come talk to us about um, the life of his brother Chris and all the joy that he brought to this world and sadly um, the addiction that took his life. So I, I, you know, even though what I was going to talk about was a very serious subject matter, I still thought if I don't get any people... Well, I mean, you know, as I said, I, I started going into schools and because I wanted to talk to teens and young adults and I, I went into schools because that's where they are, that's where the kids are. And so um, from that standpoint, yes, you know, because that's, that's where they spend most of their day. But the mission of a school is, is, is still to, to educate. And so um, I wouldn't say that that is, you know, uh, that's what schools need to be doing, addressing mental health. It'd be nice if they had um, some support and extra services, you know, in the schools, let the teachers do what they do. You know, let the guidance counselors, you know, do the just, you know, the general guidance stuff. But if you need, you know, some real mental health support, let's let's bring that expertise in. Don't don't rely on on kind of people that you know you know that don't that that's not their true skill set. That's not why they came, you know, to this calling of being, you know, working in a school. So, you know, I, I'm hoping that someday we'll figure that out. So, in my opinion, actually scratch that. 
There are so many mental health issues anymore these days, and so many people are dealing with so many issues, and frankly, not everyone has the time, resources, or knowledge to deal with all of these issues. So I think it's actually a very great thing that the principal and the people who are in charge of this, the committee and the mental health day, they brought these people here and they brought all of, they brought the keynote speaker to speak on addiction and they brought all of the people to run the breakout sessions. And I think that is actually a really great thing that they were able to do that because not everyone can deal with this, with mental health issues and especially not on their own. And so people who do have the knowledge and repertoire to deal with these issues are a great help.